Hi everybody, it's Diane. Well, I understand that Epic Octopus and also Epic Quarster um, arrived in our game. There was a tweet from uh, My Singing Monsters, but I don't want to go look at the tweet because I don't want to see what they look like. I want to go into my game and so we'll go. Yes, I posted on YouTube the silhouette of Epic Quarster. I mean, I posted on Twitter. Uh, the silhouette of Epic Chorister and Epic Octopus, but I am so anxious to see what they look like. So let's go. Wait for my game to finish opening here. Hmm. Oh, it's here. Um, market. Let's go look at Epic Chorister in the market. <laughs> I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm like, what is that? Um, so, so, so unexpected. <laughs> so strangely unexpected. Oh my goodness. Um, so that's Epic Chorister. Some monsters age gracefully, while others age uh, like this. The seasoned epic Quarster has been one of the earth, one with the earth for so long that vegetation has begun to take root within its weathered form. Changing the landscape of this once formidable golem forever. Um, ever the optimistic epic Quarster's head can't help but smile at its new buttercup yellow blooms and dignified bon bonsai tree well most of its heads <laughs> yeah right um so we will be looking for breeding combinations for epic chorister i don't know what they are at this time um so let's go look at that's my little two-year-old granddaughter you hear wanting my attention but um uh market and let's go look at epic Octopus. Ah! Another so unexpected. What is that? Is that plant growth? It almost looks like flames. He is very cool, actually. Very cool. Epic octopus. The unsightly epic octopus. Unsightly. Hmm. Epic octopus has been infected with a parasit parasitic pathogen known as the rit rot. This foul fronded fungus burrows into the trunks of unsuspecting octopi and slowly gains control of their mind and body, causing unusual growths and a smell like moldy fruit. Monsters infected by the rit rot are known to exhibit an increased need to boogie down. <laughs> this monster, like all epic monsters, cannot be bred. All right, well, we've met Epic Octopus and Epic Chorister. I will try and breed them. Um, now we'll go to Twitter and take a look at the little, um, oh yeah, there's 11. Yeah, let's see what everybody's saying. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, we just saw them. Um, all right. Well, I'm kind of hanging out waiting for my friend Eric to... Oh, there's their uh, tweet that I was trying to avoid. But look at them. They're fantastic. <laughs> so freaky, but fantastic. Really cool. I, I think octopus is pretty cool. And Chorister is really weird, but unexpected. Um, so that's Epic Chorister and Epic Octopus. Um, great. All right. So I will keep uh, searching for breeding combinations. 
for these guys and I will be back with an update to let you know um, breeding combinations. I'm just looking to see if anybody has I'm breeding epic octopus. Okay, what's the combination? <laughs> okay. So here's my, um, uh, let's find it here. You can tell I was messing with monster stuff today, preparing for epics. Um, do, 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 do. Where are you? Whoops. Do, 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 do. Oh, my granddaughter was playing with my buttons. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Here is the chart. Um, so, um, epic is a three element and a two element monster and between the toes two monsters have to contain the elements of the monsters that we're trying to breed so on water on earth um, so we're looking for a um, three element and a two element that would contain all of the elements to breed um, epic chorister and the same for water uh, cold and plant epic octopus so it'll be one of these monsters or uh, combinations that aren't used by another epic so far but uh, so I will be back and I will talk to you guys again about the breeding combinations soon see ya